Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing how to replace the oil in your Toro Personal Pace Recycler lawnmower, just like the ones behind me. What I've got behind me is a newer model and an older model from a few years back, and there's some subtle changes in how you need to replace the oil in the two. First of all, I have the new model over here, and it is the Personal Pace. And this one's a Toro Recycler 22 inch, and it does have the Briggs and Stratton engine. And here's a model here from about four years ago. It does have the Briggs and Stratton engine. So at this point, I'm gonna get right into how you should change the oil on both mowers. First, I'm gonna start with the newer model over here. And I flipped it on the side opposite the carburetor. Now, if you look underneath, you cannot see a drain plug. It's actually located on the engine way underneath the clutch. So this may look pretty daunting to the average homeowner to do. So what I recommend is just leave this the way it is. Do not take anything off because you may find that it's a bit harder your best to just drain it like you do on a Honda lawnmower by tipping the lawnmower over or using an evacuator to do this. Today I'll be using an evacuator to get the oil out. It's a lot less messy and it's a lot quicker. First of all though, I'm going to run the mower for approximately one minute just to get the oil warmed up so that it comes out easier. Okay, so I ran it for approximately one minute. As you can see here, I've got the evacuator and a container here in case you decide to drain it. Now, since a lot of you guys may not have an evacuator, you may want to use a container. You'd have to take off the oil cap and flip your mower over until all the oil drains in the container. And here's the oil cap, by the way, so I'm gonna remove it completely. I'm just gonna grab the hose and insert it right inside the engine, right at the bottom. And I'm going to pump it up and I have it set on suction and it's going to suck up all the oil. And to make sure I get all the oil, I slightly tip the lawnmower backwards so it gets all the oil in the back of the engine. So I'm just going to pull it out. And the oil I'll be using today is an HD30. It's an SAE30 oil from Castrol. Now these engines may take half a liter to a liter. I'm just going to quickly check the oil level. You have to screw it right down. And as you can see, I'm just slightly below the fill mark. I'll just add a small amount and that should be good. And now for one last check. And as you can see, it's right at the top of the serrated area at the end of the dipstick. That's exactly where you want it. So that's all there is to replacing the oil in your newer Toro Recycler lawnmower. Now I'm going to show you the options that you have for the older model. So what I'm going to do is run this mower for one minute, and today I'll be showing you how to replace the oil in this one by removing the bottom plug. Now for this, I'm going to tip the mower over like this, make sure it's nice and secure. And for safety reasons, I'm going to remove the spark plug cap on this mower here. And you can always put something to catch the mower in case it falls. In this case, I put a 5-gallon pail. And if you look right underneath the engine here, you can see the drain plug right here. And to remove this, you need a 3 8 extension. Also, be careful not to get oil on the pulley over here. So when you remove the drain plug, you can either put a rag here first or tip it over really quick and make sure the blade's out of the way and make sure all the oil pours in your container and not down on the engine and onto the belt or else your pulley and the belt will slip. What I'm going to do is just move the blade right out of the way of the plug and I put a large piece of cardboard on the floor just to grab any dripping oil that may not go right into the container. Now you want to line up your container underneath the mower as close as you can to the plug and this is what I mean by 3 8 extension, it's on a ratchet. Now before I'm able to remove the plug from the engine, I'm going to have to remove this bolt over here to get this guard out of the way. I've got a half inch socket on my ratchet. Now once the bolt's out, you can move it slightly just to get your ratchet extension in there. Now I'm going to reach underneath, move the guard enough so I can get my extension in the oil plug. Push it in as far as I can and now remove it. Now if your mower is tilted up like mine and you remove the plug, there should be no oil coming out. It will only come out once you bring the mower back down. 
And here's my setup again. I'm just going to grab the pail, move it out of the way, and let the mower go down slowly. So I'm actually going to move the container a bit further back here and just let it go down slowly. And I see the oil's going in there good. So you can let this drip for about 15 minutes or more. You just don't want any oil left. Now I've tipped the mower back up because all the oil is done draining. Now I'm going to put the plug back in and wipe up the mess underneath the engine. First I'm going to wipe any drips. If you have a little bit of oil on the belt, make sure to clean it as well. If you have a drop or two, it won't really matter. Now grab your extension, the oil plug, put it in like this. And just be careful you do not cross thread it. And now with your ratchet, you want to tighten up the plug. And you want to make sure it's fairly tight. Now I'm going to reinstall the guard in place. If the guard doesn't want to go up, just push the belt down like this. And now reinstall the bolt. And you want to make sure that this bolt is on tight because it is one of the bolts that holds the engine on the frame. Now just double check everything before you put the mower back down, wipe off any oil. This is good, the belt's in its proper position, the plug is on nice and tight. And by the way, you can examine the blade. The blade's good, the bolt's tight. And once you have it back upright, just put the spark plug cap back on. All that's left to do now is to add the new oil. And I'm using the same oil that I used in the previous lawnmower. Now I'm just going to check the level quickly. And again, you want the oil to be right at the top here between the two arrows. I put in just a bit over half a liter. And that's all there is. Just put the dipstick back in and you're all done. I'm just going to share a few tips before I end off the video today. If you're a homeowner, you can change the oil once every season in your lawnmower. Here in this part of Canada, the summers are short, so I just replace the oil once a year in my own personal lawnmower. But if you're a landscaper and you cut a lot of lawns, you may want to replace the oil two to three times per summer. Thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and you'll see me in my next video. Have a nice day.